Heads up. What do you want? Come on. Yes. Oh, my systems are eager to absorb new data. I find this traveling agrees with me. All right, here we are. Making stuff. And... Killing stuff. See. That easily? Yeah, alright. Um... Need to make... Uh oh. Shit in the way. Okay. Let's put... Moments in time. In a different like spot, then. Here should never be forgotten. Made some adjustments to uh, the castle here last night. Couldn't sleep. So I just messed around in the castle while I was watching OCD. In a closed bedroom. Figured out how to uh, get pieces to clip in and close this place off. A little gap there, but I could slide it over. But I wanted it to be flush with this wall. A big deal. But then I had to move my crafting area because I realized that when I went in here and slept and woke up, people would just be magically teleported into my room. They'd be like crafting at the craft stations. It was weird. So. Might move the this over here. Over here for now. This can go here. Watch out, Kiri. And then this could go here, maybe? Ooh, it's even allowing me to clip it into the wall a bit. Huh. Can't have that though, gotta have the still pipe not clipping through. It's nice that it clips into that pile. And then... Fine. Um, this here. Maybe. This guy here. Maybe this guy on top of that. Sorry. Here. I know where it was. It's just over here a bit. There we go. This can just go right there. And what I needed to do... Hey, live, how's it going, man? To make, uh... Antibiotics. <clears throat> Oops. Blowing fungus and stim packs. Blowing fungus and blood packs is what I need. Uh, blowing fungus. Yeah, oop, I don't have any blood packs. Not good. I'll have to buy some stim packs from my medic. <clears throat> I can patch you up if you need it. For a small fee, of course. Actually, I need some supplies for the road. Let's see what I can spare. The blood packs, but she's got buff out. Human tats, stim packs, yes. And... Um... 
Just gonna buy something else. Uh, oh, I was gonna see if my clothing dealer had a knit cap because I downloaded a uh, uh, ballistic weave mod. So I can ballistic weave stuff now. Hey, that you looking for something? Normally to wear? can't be. Let's see what you have. Here's what I got. And I might buy something that I don't have. How's it going, Mail? What's up? Yeah, like the gray knit cap. Um, I'd be giving up charisma for luck, so it would actually be a kind of a debuff. But that's okay. Is there a shop above the one, or is that the highest? Shop tier, yeah, that's that's the highest the highest tier shop you can get is either the long counter or the equivalent booth like this that has the kind of doors on the side, the wings. I'm just gonna buy that. Wait. Lost the red dress. Okay. Yeah, it's got these doors on it. That's the tier three. And to make a tier four, you have to craft a tier three, and then assign the unique character to it, and that makes it tier four. I'm saying, man. It's uh. Where do we go here? Resources. Miscellaneous. Nope. Nope. Stores. Uh, trader. First two are tier one. It's just different looks. And you got tier two. And then... This is tier three. Can't see it because I don't have enough caps, but it looks like that. And then the uh, third tier is the long counter. You can kind of see the icon spinning there. Uh, yes, I put, I put Ballistic Weave on Kiri's, um, Doctor wants to know he said uh, synth uniform. But it's not. And, it's heads up. What do you want? Uh, how do I check her stats here? I gotta get something else, because when you equip a companion with something, it, you know, it deletes it, or it doesn't delete it, but it hides it in their inventory, so you have to equip something else to see it. Uh, like I could put the uh, armored lab coat. With this mod, it actually allows me to ballistic weave like road goggles. But since you can't do that in the base game, I'm not going to do that. Let's see, you, you know, ballistic weave any glasses. You could ballistic weave your scarf too if you want. Look alive. I won't. I won't do anything that would make it uh, more than what you could do in vanilla. I'll just do what you know would basically be a cosmetic change. Um, so right now she has a full set of deep pocketed combat armor on, but you can't see it because another thing that mod does is allow you to conceal the armor. Um, so I just took that armor I'd already made and clicked the new visibility tab. It's for the hell of it. And I don't like the way that combat armor really looks on Kiri right now anyway. But, uh, this lab coat you can armor in vanilla. If I switch her into the lab coat, now you can see the synth uniform is armored. Uh, but it doesn't have any mitigation to begin with, so it's just the same as, like, ballistic weaving a green shirt and combat boots or a Minuteman outfit. Um, but if I want to keep this completely, like, parallel with vanilla stat wise to preserve legitimacy you know what I mean so I'm not cheating in a permadeath I gotta watch the stats because I don't want to ballistic weave something that has stats that you otherwise couldn't ballistic weave even though you kinda should be able to but the synth uniform has perception but there is another thing I can ballistic weave that has perception I think it's the I think it's the Minuteman. 
Minuteman outfit. Um, uh, let's see, I got one right here. I think. Oh, uh, yeah, that's got agility and perception. Let's, there might be something with perception. But as long as there's something you can ballistic weave that's better than what I'm ballistic weaving, I, I don't really care if it's not a perfect parallel. But kinda, it's kinda like having her an armored Minuteman um, outfit. Look alive. You need something. That looks yeah? like the synth uniform and is good. has the agility taken away. You know what I mean? <laughs> But it's all good. And I'm not going to put a hat on her. Because I just don't like any of the hats on her. And I can't. You can't toggle the visibility of the hats with this mod for some reason. So I'm basically nerfing myself by 110. Um, 110 uh, resistance just because I don't like the look of anything on Kiri's head. But 110 with her. Synth uniform and then the resistance from the deep pocketed armor that's invisible is is plenty. I mean, she all she had on was deep pocketed armor with an un uh, not ballistic weaved synth uniform yesterday, and I don't think she was ever downed. So that'll that'll be fine. Take that lab coat back. Fusion cores are for her Gatling laser. <clears throat> Military fatigues and vault suit, the only clothes stat wise you can wear under pieces of armor. No, there's a bunch of other ones. Um, well, the synth uniform. <clears throat> you can put armor over that. Uh, let's see, the. Uh, this is the Minuteman outfit. You can put armor over that. Uh, you can't on that. I haven't tested. Well, that is an armor uniform. Uh. This is the gunner outfit. You can put armor over that. Um, these are the disciples uniforms. You can put armor over that. This is one of them with partial armor over it. Uh, there's the brother should have steel armor. I don't think that has stats. That's the other thing you're talking about is stat wise. So some of these might not have stats, but. The Miniman does it as agility and perception. You can put full armor over it. Uh, I don't think the gunner outfit does though. No, nope. but it comes with one damage resist. So there's that. The disciples. Uh, that already has lots of armor. Um, I ballistic weave this. This comes with one. You're not supposed to be able to ballistic weave it, but it comes with two endurance and one ballistic uh, damage resist. So that is kind of a little bit beyond the scope of vanilla. Because I don't think there's anything that you can have two endurance on and put full armor over. So if I put full armor over this, that would be a little cheaty. But if I just had uh, an NPC wear that by itself, that wouldn't be. That would be basically like ballistic weaving a different piece of clothing that has two endurance that you can't put over armor on in vanilla. But actually, I don't think I don't think that exists. So uh, maybe I wouldn't want to use that. Hey, fear, how's it going, man? Yes, I built a little. Little uh, more testing showroom kind of thing, just so I could see what the different armors look like at an easier glance. Uh, BOS uniform, yeah, that has five energy, one ballistic, and five radiation by itself. That's pretty trivial. It doesn't have any special stats on it. So, ballistic weaving, that's legit in my book. But, 
Yeah, I think I think this ballistic weave is the only thing I really wouldn't want to wear. I could throw it on a settler, and that's you know pretty trivial. But giving Kiri two endurance with that might be a little little chi. Uh, yes, you can you can ballistic weave Minuteman Mayo. <clears throat> you can ballistic weave the Minuteman outfit, the army fatigues, the military fatigues, and. Uh, what else do I usually ballistic weave to put on people? Those are the three main things. Oh, the gunner guard out outfit. That's the... That's, I think, the best thing to ballistic weave for yourself. All those things have stats on them in vanilla. And can have a full set of armor over them. So, that's why I've al always been wearing the armored green shirt and combat boots since... You know, the beginning of this playthrough. Because it comes with charisma and endurance, and you can ballistic weave it from the start, and you can put a full set of armor on it. But I just have the legs on it because they're super light and they uh, totally negate fall damage. So if I'm ever out of power armor in an emergency, I don't have to worry about jumping off a skyscraper to escape. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, what was I gonna do? I think. I kind of want to ballistic weave this cap. Let's see what it looks like, just to change up my appearance. Whoops. Crazy cap on. And... Uh, but, that gives me, a, gives me luck. It takes away charisma, but gives me luck. Some might say that's cheaty. If there isn't another cap, I can um, ballistic weave that has luck. And I think there is. It's like a bowler cap or something. Right? Then it would be basically. Nope, that's got endurance. Oof. Oh, the battered fedora. Okay. So yeah, ballistic weaving this. What's one? Weight is 5.5. Granite cap is 0.4, so... You know, it's basically like ballistic weaving the battered fedora. But I get 0.1 extra carry weight. But, you know... Fuck off. That's fine. So, yeah. We're fairly certain you can't ballistic weave this in vanilla. close enough to legit or I'm not going to worry about it. And the nerf of losing a charisma. Enough to make up for point one weight. You really want to go crazy about it. There we go. I'll wear that instead of the trilby hat. Have a lock instead of charisma. Basically like wearing the battered fedora. Battered fedora and the cappy glasses. I'm tired of brims, man. Sick of looking at brims. Yeah, put a bunch of lights over the power armor station. Might be overboard. Just couldn't sleep last night. I uh, drank too much coffee. Stayed up to like 6 in the morning. Just screwing around in here watching uh, OCD. And crashing the game. Before I figured out how to get the... Uh, armor mod stable. <laughs> I didn't think they were working right, so I kept modifying stuff and breaking the game. And uh, then I realized that it was working right the whole time, I just didn't know how to use it. I haven't fixed my arms yet. Alright, 
right, we're gonna go do a few quests, or maybe one. <clears throat> and it's sad, sad to say that today's gonna be an extremely short stream. Um, I gotta go, I gotta do stuff today. And I was gonna start streaming super early, but couldn't get to bed, because coffee. But basically just to woke up, and I only got about 45 minutes left of streaming before I gotta leave. Um, but I might be back tonight, stream for a little bit tonight. Okay, oh, we gotta talk to, talk to Buddy. So yeah, if you remembered where, what used to be in this room, it is now new and improved. And in this room. Same thing, basically. But they added a nuke machine. I added a drunk Kate. And a whole bunch of pictures on the wall. But everything else is basically the same, except the lights are different. Oh, and a placemat. Wear me out. Floor yes. mat. Um, but. <clears throat> Buddy's not here. This is where Buddy likes to hang out. I don't know where... where Buddy went. Oh, there he is. Hey, Buddy. Hey, Buddy. Greetings. Usually hangs buddy. out around your bar. Care to wet your whistle? Or do you require a lap? <clears throat> you like the battered fedora mayo with the cappy glasses? Red bandana? Yeah, that looked pretty good. Tell me a joke. What did the gummies light their house with before they used candles? Electricity. Would you like a cold one, or did you want to hear a joke? That's that's kind of funny. It took me a second to get it. <laughs> but it's sad because it was pretty much everybody else. Maybe I don't get it. I'll take a beer. Cold. And refreshing. In an Irish pub, he was in the basement of. I can't remember what it was called. Holy crap, that's a lot of beer. Jeez. And there was one other recipe. In Diamond City. Why don't we go to Diamond City? <clears throat> uh, you must look clothes based off looks. Yeah, it's, I'm kind of just to break up the monotony. I kind of am too, but I nerf myself by one charisma, but <laughs> I don't care much about charisma checks anymore. I very much did early in the game, but um, now it doesn't matter because I'm I can hit the charisma cap really easy, so I can just take a great mentats and it doesn't matter. I take a great mentats. Now I'll be at. I'll hit the charisma cap, even though I'm one charisma less than I was before with the different hat. Um, Some of the others were talking about dying. And, and how, when a human dies, you can't just make another one. And the luck that I'm wearing from the fedora, I'll never actually. This equivalent to the fedora, I'll never actually take advantage of because I'm in power armor all the time. And. Um, that doesn't count when you're in power armor, it negates everything. Yeah, I got drink it, buddy. I'm a fave. But now I'm... How much did that beer weigh? I just got like 20 pounds of beer off him, I think. Probably put some of that away. Holy crap. 40 pounds? Jesus. Soldier. Derp, 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 derp. Cooler. Take some regular queen steaks. And then I'm gonna go get that recipe from uh Diamond City and get aluminum from Arturo and then maybe go to what's that aluminum? Uh guy in 
good neighbor. And then that might be all the time I have to stream today. Sorry, guys. Gotta do real things. Sad, I know. Um, I have no vertebrate signals left. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's why I left some in here. Ooh, 19. Nice. It's like 10. And. Um. Oh, yeah, go to Diamond City. If you want to go to Diamond City, then uh, I'll run to Good Neighbor and run to the Pridwin to get more vertebrate signals. Here. You're going to run out of... Um, you can run out of bits, man. Crazy. Do you know how the charisma checks work? Like, do you need 10 for the red charisma? Uh, there's a... There's a roll chance when you do a check. There's only a few charisma checks that always pass. The only two I know about that I'm pretty sure always pass, no matter what your charisma is, is one with... Um... Trash can Carla, but that's not even a charisma check. It's just a if you pick sarcastic, it's like a hidden charisma check. It's not even a charisma check because it always passes, so that that doesn't even matter. But I think with Lucy Abernathy, I think that always passes that charisma check. I don't know, maybe I'm full of shit. But basically, the higher your charisma is, the higher your chances. But you can have like high charisma, and you can still fail a yellow check, I believe. It's just a really low chance, but I might I might be full of shit. So no, I, I don't know how it works, Mayo, I'm totally speculating. All I know for sure is that there is like a charisma cap for vendor prices, where it doesn't matter if you have like over I think 12 or something, maybe it's 14 or 15, so I don't even know about that. I don't know anything Mayo, I'm not awake enough to verify any information. Without the possibility of being full of shit. All go. I'm, I'm fairly certain that Your mini gun that it just raises ready to fire. Good the chance. Sir. There isn't like a hard number, like you have to have 10 to pass the red. Um, because I'm, I'm pretty sure that I've done the same check with the same charisma on multiple occasions and sometimes I've passed and sometimes I haven't. You know what I mean? There's a little little chance in there. Oh you gotta leave here? Shit. Alright. <laughs> Sounds good man. I'm still gonna be around for another half hour or something. It's very strange. But I don't think I've ever failed to check when my charisma's been like at least 15. So that might get you to like a hard cap where it's like, okay, you're gonna fa or you're gonna pass every charisma check no matter what. If you get to a certain charisma by you know getting out of your armor and having all your charisma clothing showing and drinking a beer and taking great mentats. You know, just doing those three things can get your charisma up by ten just easily. Four for clothing, one for the beer, and five for the mentats. And then plus whatever your base charisma is at. Um, I have a little bit of mayo, but it seems more more uh, bullshit than it's worth. Because you have to get lead. Lead's not very common. And I don't know, ammo's so cheap anyway. And then you have to you have to babysit your uh, machines. Make sure the right 
um, materials are in the machine, and you have to go back and get the bullets out. I'll mess with her for fun, but I haven't really seen a need to mess with it for benefit yet. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun to mess around with it for a little bit, but I could see I'm making a big-ass automated factory with sorters and all that stuff would be cool. And faster is just fast travel. Yeah, it is. It is those I... But you can't fast travel in survival mode. And it's not as fun, anyway. Yep, no problem. That's one of the most asked questions, I think. It's the top ten list of, uh... What kind of person pals around with a robot? Why the hell aren't you doing it this way? You know? Well, the answer is because it's survival mode. You can't. It's okay, not everybody knows that. The best way to explain it is you have your charisma modifier and your kiss 10, then you also have a success roll of random number between, let's say, 10, 1 to 10. Best speech to test in this example, you need to roll 16, so you'd need to roll 6 higher than is possible to count. But it would, yep, something like that. What gun is that? I've seen it so many times, but never know what it is. The gun that was on the loading screen? Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. Oh, that was the. Uh, that was the Tesla rifle that you get from the Automatron DLC. There's a mini boss. It's basically like a named mob that's in the middle of a. Little dungeon you're going through. It's a unique gun, only one in the game. It's a really cool gun. It's fairly effective, but it's not. It's not that good. I mean, it's it's good, but it's not the best gun, for sure. Oh, oh, Kiri. Oh, sad. Kiri's gonna not like this. She doesn't like when I steal. Well, if I have time, I'll get it and Are we going to see this uh, demonstrate game? it for you. How exciting! If she wants to see a baseball game, move here. here there hasn't there hasn't been a baseball game here for 200 years. Hold position. If waiting is what's required. Yeah. Now, don't load in here, please. Just stay there. You don't you don't want to see this. You don't want to see this, Kiri. All right, stay out there. Hidden. This aggro's the whole town. I'm, I'm scrubbing. I don't give a shit. It's bullshit. I didn't even know this was here until somebody told me. They didn't tell me I had to steal it. <laughs> All right, Kira didn't see it. She didn't even like it. She disliked it when I stole something from somebody who was dead. There's nobody around. I grabbed something that said steal. And didn't like it. Hey, she said something like, "This is for the trash." No. That's good. Go. Oh, my Kiri accent is horrible. No, she doesn't like when you steal. That's why I left her outside. Um, I'm gonna wait. Oh, I left her up there. <laughs> bunch of caps too. Uh, it's 9 p.m. I gotta wait like 11 hours. Okay, I could go sleep. Yeah, I gotta go sleep. Hey, Hammy, how's it going? It's a chance that uh, super mutants can get in here. Someone take that course. So nobody steals it. I've never seen super mutants just spawn in here through the Diamond City main gate. 
But one time I ran in here way ahead of Ada while she was fighting. And I think she drew the super mutants in. I ran down, talked to like Arturo for like 10 seconds, and all of a sudden, shit's sitting in the fan. I turn around and Ada's standing on the stairs up to go outside of Diamond City, you know, within the inner confines. And there's super mutants coming through the door. She's blasting away at him. But everybody in town went ape shit and started attacking him too. It was pretty cool. Soma. Cool. Right on. I've heard of that game, but I can't remember what it's about. It's, it's like a survival horror game, right? Or more of just a horror game? No, I didn't lie. This is Kellogg's house. You can use his bed for free. Once uh, you get into it. It's where he would sit and contemplate his... Uh, plans. Smoke his cigars. Kinda weird going back to Kellogg's house to sleep. There is a house here that you can buy. It's called Home Plate. And I just haven't bought it yet. There's not really any benefit to it, other than it's quicker to sleep. So you go in here, but I gotta buy it. Um, you know, because it's closer, so it's easier to sleep. But you can put all your crafting stuff in there if you want. But the thing that sucks ass, which is you know, the reason I haven't bought it, is that it doesn't connect to your supply lines. So whenever you craft, all your crafting supplies have to be in there. Uh oh, I forgot to bring uh, assets to sell. I have enough coins. I've got a few minutes to browse. Everything hand tooled. Everything hand tooled. Uh, aluminum. And now I gotta sell 440 caps worth of something. Virgin Knuckles. Jeepers. Jeepers fear. That's like, that's like 100 caps almost there. My goodness. Crazy. I think it's I think it's two thousand life, but you might be right. I could easily buy it. I just have to go grab a bunch of water and sell it. And but I just haven't had the urge to buy it yet. I have only six water on me. Wow. Oh. Stealth boys, take those. And red roach meat. Any uncooked meat I'll just sell quick. Need to make jet fuel too, I keep forgetting about that. Um well, that's not good. Oh, the Merv Launcher. That's worth a lot. That. Forgot I had those on me. Crap. Okay. Just 140. Feels so poor, but it's all that Sticking around to stay under a hundred caps. That scav bonus is totally worth it. So I want to sell glowing fungus. I'll sell grilled radstag. Uh, hundred and thirty-nine. It has to be math is hard. I can't. So we'll go hundred twenty-nine. Oh, that's too many. Buy some bullets. Um. 10 mil rounds, like 12 caps, that'll get me right to zero. I think, oh shit, I gotta sell them, not buy them. Idiot. Alright. Since so I don't have any one for one conversion bullets, I'll just sell those back and sell just a couple of these. 
There we go, good enough. Now I got the full three strength, three endurance back. Diamond City surplus, everything and... you need. And don't be caught there. And eat a grilled rat steak. I don't get the bonus from it, but I don't care. Ed. <laughs> Protection from Commonwealth weaponry. Three strength, three endurance, mail. <clears throat> if you're under a hundred caps. In between 100 and 1,000, it's 2 strength, 2 endurance. And in between 1,000 and 10,000, it's 1 strength, 1 endurance. And if you're over 10,000, you get no benefit from the scav magazine. Probably not. Some guy hey, town. moving out. What were you saying? Officer. Beer and my slippers after this shift. That's all I ask. You're in your slippers, dude. Hope you enjoy. <clears throat> as long as I'm under 100 caps and it's the daytime, my endurance is 18 base. It's ridiculous. Because it's the 10 from the special stats. Three from the scav, two from solar powered, and the other three comes from well rested, so I have to have you know woken up in the morning, and then one come the last one comes from riding the bicycle. There's different exercise equipment you can craft in your base, and depending on what you used last, you get a permanent bonus. Since I used the uh, exercise bike, I get endurance forever until I'd use like the weight bench. Then that would take away the endurance and give me strength. <clears throat> but I'd rather have the endurance than the strength. Right now, it would give me a higher carry weight, but. Alright. I wonder. I wonder. Yeah, 18. 16 is from solar powered. And the power armor and scav bonus. Like Agility's from well rested. I have nine, and then plus two. I'm well rested. Say that. Uh, let's go to good neighbor. <clears throat> Buy more aluminum. Barrel ghouls like to hide in the dark. Then what was I gonna do? One other thing I said I was gonna do that somebody wanted to see. I don't recall. Reached your ad limit, boss? What's that fear? Oh your ad limit. <clears throat> I didn't know there was an ad limit. That's cool, man. Oh, jeepers. Jeepers. I don't even care that I just shot him. Kiri, where are you? There's some Minutemen in there too, I think. No, no. I think they killed the Minutemen. You should wash your hands after that. It can be unsanitary to handle the deceased. I don't know why I didn't just grab that mod. I was trying not to. Not to grab everything I don't really need. Could get caps from them, but whatever. Grab the light stuff. Oh, is the Brotherhood guy dead? Bad. Almost a full set of armor. Take his uniform, it's probably a black one. Those are hard to come by. Oh, it is a full set of armor. Do I really need it though? Like, I could just, just buy it if I wanted to. Alright, we'll take it. Oh, 
Poor dude. Now we gotta buy uh, another frame, which I can buy at Good Neighbor, where I'm going. And have Kiri get into it and mule the frame and armor back. Kind of a good way to get T60. You get T60 really early in the game anyway, if you know the route to go. Just let Brotherhood die. Not often they do, though. I think you can kill him. And still not aggro the Brotherhood, though. I'm not, I'm not sure, but that's what I've been told. That killing the patrols doesn't make you a mortal enemy of good neighbor, but don't take my word for it. Is it possible to buy a framework? Pick up those frames off? I don't think you can, Mayo. They they can never go on your inventory. Or maybe there's some weird glitch that makes it... Yeah. The only way I know of to buy a frame is to buy it at a vendor. That doesn't go in your inventory, it appears next to the vendor, and you, so you have to like get in it, or have your companion mule it. I don't think so, because it's, it's not in their inventory, Mayo. Their frame is just like a cosmetic thing in their body that isn't a lootable item. You have to sneak up on them and steal the fusion core out. And then they'll be like, huh? The power armor stops, then they'll get out of the power armor. Then you can get it in it. But once they're dead, I'm fairly certain you can never get that frame. But I should just loot more because that frame's pretty expensive. Maybe I'll find some loot on the way to Good Neighbor. How do they do it though when the frame is dead and on the ground, you know what I mean? I'm calling bullshit on that man. Bullshit. You might be right though, man. I think you're daydreaming. How do you get this protection out of here? Wait, legendary. You bastard. You bastard. He's an eradicator. There we go. I'll help me buy the frame. Should we test it out right now, Mayo? Oh. Hey, Chuchi, how's it going? I hear mean robots. Whoa, 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 what? He just asked me, please. And I killed him. Feel bad. We're right next to Good Neighbor, but I always get lost trying to get into it. I don't know where the hell it is. I think I can just fly over that building. Kinda nice that you can do that with the jetpack. Fly over this wall right here. I think. Could be wrong. Uh, a dog? Yeah, you can bring dog meat with you. And. Oh, I get, I get. Uh, 
And then there's other dogs in the vanilla game too. Um, there's a junkyard dog that you get from a wandering vendor. And I can't think of any other ones. But then with um, the Far Harbor DLC, there's a bunch of dogs you can buy. That AP increase is ridiculous. So slow. Maybe I didn't understand your question, live. Alright, this should bring me to a good neighbor. Come on, get over it. No, it's not. What the hell is that? Uh, oh, it is right here. Good. You can actually jump over a, a wall and it like sp spawns you in good neighbor. Goes through the loading screen. Is that Tesla rifle again? Mayo, I think you were asking about it. Today is probably not going to be a, a fat man run. Because I only have about 15 minutes left. I gotta log off. But I might be back later tonight. I know. What the hell's going on with this world? Sweet pit boy, brother. You hold on. Every weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death, baby. Uh, oh shit. Alright, I'm gonna risk my neck here because super mutants can come in through that door. Uh, the Kiri's got yeah. my back. I got Ballistic Weave. But, hey, Cleo. I've got a weapon oh. here for every situ- I think... I think I need to take a great Mentats to get to cap, especially since I don't have my Charisma cap on anymore. Um, but if I just drink a nice cold... Hunting, protection, then my cell prices blooded, will be a lot better than they were hot, than if I was in power armor. Let's see what you have. Murder and mayhem. Um, 57 caps. Leo has... Power armor frame. 2400. And some weapons. Like that. And those. That. Pretty sweet shotgun though, 25% more damage. But whatever. You have dog meat as a companion. There are other dogs you can buy, but they cannot equip things. Can only hang oh, you're right, Jade. That's right. I forgot you can't have them other dogs as companions. Let's see, I have mods. Watching a guy play with pug meat yesterday. It was pretty funny. Little pug dog walking around. Being all stupid. And it was his actual companion. Yeah, I forgot about that. The other dogs in the vanilla game are just, uh, uh, settlers, basically, and I think they raise the defense and the happiness of the settlement, right? That might be bullshit. That synth helmet on Kiri. I do that. Not at the cell cap yet, it's 160 for cores. I'm only getting 155 for this. Oh, I didn't get enough loot. Um, I can sell aid. I still gotta buy a shipment of aluminum too, this might be tough. Urban. Uh, I want to keep the brain fungus, buff out and buff tats. 
Almax just not. That's pretty sweet. I'll keep that. J Tripper's pretty cool too. Stacks your charisma if you really want to get your charisma high for like um forcing settlers to uh you know go over your base population cap. And let's uh, sell the grilled rad steak. Sell my Gwinnets. Cause now I got ice cold beer for days, I'll never have to worry about beer again. Um Buddy just gave me 40 beer. I think he'll give me 40 beer every day. But as soon as I get back and give, give him this uh, next tape that I found, the hollow tape, he's going to give me 60 beers every day. It's insane. Cheating. I bought stim packs and I was gonna craft something with them and then I forgot to craft whatever it was. Should keep the vodka and the whiskey, but get more. I better keep the whiskey at least. It's a crafting component for great mentats. Alright, then I can use stim packs to buy the aluminum. Okay, good enough. Power armor frame removed. Your purchase power armor, what did it say, can be found next to Cleo's shop. Buddy, I gotta be a lot more high or uh, a lot more drunk. To yeah, that one actually ends up right in the power armor station. Hey. Arturo's doesn't, and Tegan's doesn't. But this one actually goes into the power armor station, which means Kiri probably can't get into it. There's no way to get there. Yeah, because companions can't get into power armor when it's you know, sucked into a power armor station like when you craft on it. Yeah, Comlex is super rare and I don't think you can buy it from anywhere. Shit. It's kinda like XL, but I'm fairly certain you can buy XL from the Atom Cats. Oh shit, I can't even... can't even fix this. Need steel plastic. Oh, it's okay. It doesn't weigh anything when it's broke. It really doesn't matter. Hey, neat. How's it going? Yeah, XL. Except it's spelled X dash C E L L. Yeah, I'm, I might have. Someone might have been talking shit when they told me that, right. but I was told you could buy it from them. I will attend to this. Yeah, that's super rare. I've only found like four, maybe, this entire run. Right on. Tell me you must have time now. Uh, oh, what? We're gonna... There's super mutants that can attack us here, Kiri. Fuck. Oh, that's not good. Let's just let's just go. This sounds oh. good. Much I should have flirted. That. I beg to become a synth for a reason, for science, to be able to make real progress in studying the medical arts. I have had a breakthrough. Using a new strain of mute food, I have discovered a way to greatly improve the restorative properties of steam packs. I realize this is not earth shaking. But it means that inspiration what? does exist. Uh, I'd like some. <clears throat> Congratulations. I know it wasn't easy, but you did it. I find my head full of notions. Experiments. Many will fail, but maybe I will make more discoveries. And you have given me this capacity. And beyond that, so much more. The world is full of life, possibilities. You are very dear to me. My close friend, and I hope I can return the many favors you have given me. Oh shit. 
I didn't know I was already at the stage. Alright, Kiri. I might die because of this. I'm pretty sure there's a chance a suicider could bust right in at any time. Um, I know super mutants can. I don't know if one can be a suicider, though. Great Mentats. I think I'm already drunk, but I'll get double drunk. I'm gonna romance a robot. What we have between us is deeper than friendship. My very first thought in all this excitement it's my sex was spot. I must tell you. It wouldn't feel real until I shared it with you. You know. You mean very much. Oh, I am so terrible at this. Toy with her. <laughs> I mean very much <laughs> what? To the commonwealth? Oh, this is pathetic. To the world? No, I, I was wrong. You're the one that's terrible. Let's right, see you later, live. Take care. Me such. Maybe I can take you out to dinner, see a movie, or whatever people do these days. I may be getting this out of order. It's all for science. I love you, and I would like this very, very much. Oh, Kiri. Touched. Having reached the highest level of affinity with Kiri, you have gained the Combat Medic perk. I don't know what that does. I think it basically, like, injects you with a free stim pack when you're under 20%? 25%? Is that what it does? The world seems so very bright, and I cannot wait to see what Aww, becomes... Aw, hey, Kaylin, how's it going? <laughs> Alright, now let's get out of the Hello, combat boy, area. Carrying. Better sell some to Daisy before someone swipes it. Here, hey. May I be of assistance? Yep. Are you giving me a present? Mm hmm. It's our uh, consummation gift. You get D60 armor. Oh, you can. You can carry that, Kiri. You should get more carry weight. No, the legs aren't calibrated, that's right. So she's not going to be able to carry that. Um, that's okay, I can carry it. And... Okay, that's, that's funny as hell, but whatever. Um, I hope you're... I just found that armor off a of dead brotherhood, so I figured I'd grab it. Then I came here to just buy a frame for it. So Kiri could... Um, take it home. We gotta, we gotta do this though. That's up. What do you want? We can see her head. Here's what I, have on me. I like her head. She has a good head. Yeah. That almost sounded Double really bad. For the folks of the uh, now we need to find a black dude in a green coat. Wasting time, Omu. You know they were growing in a lab, but it's pretty much real organs, bone and tissue. Yeah. yeah. It's all good, Yoku. I got no problem with uh, betting Kiri for science. Good to see you again. Hey, Rufus. Uh, I'll take a look. I'll take a look. Let me know if you want to trade. Oh, that sucks, Kalen. You're gonna be sad to know I gotta leave, like, in a few minutes then. I apologize, I'll be back tonight though. I gotta do stuff. It can't reproduce a human, can it? No, it does not have, uh, reproductive abilities here. I don't believe any of the synths do. They'll have to be manufactured. Did the... What are they called in? Uh, Battlestar Galactica. Did they ever reach the state of natural procreation? The ones that were nearly ind indistinguishable from humans? Like they were flesh and blood through and through? The only way to tell the difference was with a special blood test? I can't remember if they could procreate. 
and become pregnant. Or if they had to be built also in the big, uh, you know, the big ship, the spawning ship. I think they had to be created in the spawning ship, because if they died, their, like, mind was transferred wirelessly to a new body in the ship, right? They could, Kaelin? I thought so, because I thought I remembered some of the characters, like, one of the characters becoming pregnant that you didn't know was a, was a synth. And then all of a sudden you discover they're a synth, and then you're like, what? She was pregnant, right? They're not called synths, so what are they called in Battlesca Battlestar? Uh, where are we going here? Junk tab, you have... Don't you have it? Yes, you have aluminum too. Right on. He has 25 though, right? Arturo had 50. Well, it's cheaper. That's good. Uh, and then I was just gonna buy it with stim packs. Hey, Jeep guy, thank you. Uh, like 380 should do it. Perfect. Alright, and now the jaunt back to the castle. They could, but only if reproducing with a human. Okay, interesting. So it could produce a viable egg, but it needed human sperm? Or was there some, like, process where they implant a human egg into the synth and it would just stay preserved until a human man came along and impregnated him. What about the synth men? I keep calling them synths, but they're not synth Cylons, yeah. So watch that again. It was a great series. I gotta catch up on Humans, too, the newer series that's about synths. I think they actually call them synths in that, don't they? The one where Merlin is the the dude who's like a railroad character. <laughs> you know what I mean? The actor who plays Merlin in the BBC series. There's a lot of parallels with that and the uh, railroad and synths in this game. He's like a, he's like a caretaker. Oh my god, Gary. Oh, the beeping stopped. Gary, no, don't die. <laughs> She's doing fine. Well, I'm stuck in a box. Here, where's your armor? Don't kill it. Oh, I wanted to smash. Yes, we will file a police report as soon as we get back to the castle. Here. Which, oh, I gotta go to, to the Prid one quick by signals. good neighbor. Derp. That's what I was talking about earlier. You jump over the right wall and it teleports you into a good neighbor. Basically any of the outside walls. Well, now I gotta decide whether to keep Curie or Kate at the castle. Because you can't sleep with two people with a lover's embrace perk in proximity of each other. Or you don't get it. They're jelly. If I keep Piper at Sanctuary, 
and Kate at the castle. But now, I have my sex robot. What that? Okay. Confused. What's going on here? I just need to go this way. You get it, Jade? Really? Even with multiple lovers embrace people in proximity? I could have swore it. Could have swore you couldn't do that. I'm lovers with all of them. You're a successful polygamist. Well, I guess I'll try it. I thought I did try it once. And I was like, oh shit, that's right, it doesn't work because Kate took Kate to a sanctuary and Piper was there. Maybe it's because they were too far away, because I know if they're too far away, like say if I go to sanctuary alone and Piper's the only uh, person with lovers embrace there, if she's too far away, it, it won't work if she's on the other side of sanctuary. <clears throat> I know that for a fact because somebody's like, no, they just have to be in the same settlement. And I'm like, no, really, if they're not, it doesn't work. So I told Piper to, like, stay on the other side of Sanctuary. You know, I let her over there, use the stay command. And I went slapped and I didn't get the perk. I told her to come near me. And then I got the perk. It seems like the radius is about like from here to the shore, as long as they're within that radius. But, I don't know, it could have been a fluke, but it actually does work. Oh my goodness. Nothing wrong with plague me, as long as all the wives are sane and willing. Basically no different than Not sure I like the idea of the guy who has a bunch of girlfriends and none of the girlfriends care. The only uh, difference is a religious ideal. And having a ton of girlfriends you sleep with isn't illegal. I sound like a right twat right now, I bet. Yeah, you could be right, Jade. I might, I might just be completely wrong. Maybe all the all the companion has to be is in the same settlement, and um, maybe you can't have multiple in the same settlement. What, Kaylin? What's she talking about, man? I have my uh. uh Notifications shut off because of that whole Twitch app auto following. Right on, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you much. Attention. This is a reminder. Any recovered historical, technological, or social documentation should be delivered directly to Proctor Quinlan. That is all. I will, uh, I will confirm it. Yeah, I'm done streaming. Thank you again, man. Set me up. All of my weapons are mission ready. Tegan, Tegan. Preferred signal grenades. And selling. Selling these. And. Maybe another stim pack or two. Yeah, uh, that'll do it. Uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, Shushi. The sad thing is, in, in those situations, it's usually not, it's not good. You know, the wives are being threatened. They're all, you know, gone mental. They're usually 
had something wrong in their life to begin with that made them to be easily taken advantage of by the by the husband. It's kind of like communism it, in practice, or I mean in theory. And on paper it sounds good, but in practice it, it just doesn't work. You know what I mean? So that's the... You know, I was just talking shit when I said there's really nothing wrong with polygamy. Because in practice there's always something wrong with it. It's never... It's never a mutual happy thing. Maybe somewhere in the world there... There's a little polygamous colony in a in some cottage. They're all happy, but probably not. Not sure I like the idea of the minute having so much fire. <laughs> Don't you fear? Some, uh, uh, not civilizations, but some, like, tribal societies are still kind of like that today. But it's kind of in reverse. Where, I can't remember what tribes it is, but there's... I just watched a documentary recently that... Had these guys on it, some dude went to visit the tribe, and it was common for the women to have many husbands. And all the husbands were cool with it. And she was basically pregnant, you know, the women were pregnant like all the freaking time. And they never knew, like, who the dad was. But everybody's cool with it. And all the, all the husbands would all take care of all the kids like they were their own. And they just didn't care. They're like, yeah, that might be yours. Might be the other guys, might be mine, but you know we're all we're all the husbands to this lady, and all the kids are ours, and we'll just take care of them. And that's just the way their society's always been. So that's probably the only case of kind of kind of polygamy that I I've ever heard of that seems fine. So that's the way they've been doing it forever. Oh, you know, there's no right or wrong, I don't think. It's all just based on ideals and what your society is used to. It wasn't just like there was one wife that was like ruling a polygamous colony, and you know, it was it was the whole tribe. You know, all the all the women were like that basically. The men like far outnumbered the women. They all slept with each other, and nobody knew who knew whose kid was whose, and that was just normal. But it seemed like pretty sure they kinda it was kinda designated a little bit just through mutual agreement where the guys would usually just sleep with one woman. The woman would... You know what I mean? They wouldn't sleep with any other woman except the one. Then the other group of guys wouldn't sleep with any other woman except a different one. It was all... That's just how their society was. Looks like a good landing spot. I'll have you on the ground shortly. All right, we are back. Yeah, Jay. <laughs> Ruh -ruh. What's happening out there? I think I wrecked. Now 
going to be in Agro. Gun wasn't popping up. They all dead? Alright, I think they're dead. The bird's stuck on the rail though. I got that one too. Okay guys, I gotta I gotta leave. Oh no, there's still an agro. Get him. Get him. He's in that state. I don't think I can sleep. Right. There he is. the rhythm. Oh man, I almost sent it up in the drink. Yeah, Kalen. Hope you feel better. That sucks, man. <laughs> People ask you that, checking. Nice. I wouldn't want more than one wife. I can hardly deal with one. Alright, and... I wonder if you can lose... I'm really paranoid that, like, if I sleep with Kate and uh, Kiri in proximity at the same time, I lose affinity with one of them. But I don't think that's the thing. I'm pretty sure I would have heard about that by now. It's the only thing that I heard that I th thought was a thing is that you just don't get the bonus. You can do with only two hands. Yeah, free fall. <laughs> I'm going for 20. 20 perks stored. This will drive you guys crazy. Second. Can't sleep with buffs. Alright, we're good. Oh, great mentats, though. Yeah, the only thing that would screw up is charisma. I don't think that selling high price can get glitched. I have to check my charisma. After I wake up. <laughs> nice dragon. That one's more than enough. Um, I don't know, free fall. Another day with you. Oh, uh oh, Kate. Kate probably left. I left Kiri in her power armor that whole time. Here.
Look alive. Do you need something from me? Hey. What shall we talk about? You get out of your power armor, please. I need you to get out of your power armor. As I'll probably leave her somewhere else anyway. Because... Then I can get the Lover's Embrace perk at three different places. Which is just convenient. Alright, Kate is still here. He's gonna be like, you bastard. Rather be off murdering a pint. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. <clears throat> oh, damn husbands. Screwing a synth. No. Nope. Not now. Well, make up your mind. <laughs> yeah, see. Two wives, no good. good bitchy. Alright guys, that's uh That's it for the morning. I gotta do some stuff. And I'll take care of that later, Jade. No big deal. Take care of some stuff, and I'll be back later today. Not sure when. But I'll be back. It will be good. Thanks again, Callan. I really appreciate it, man. It's awesome. And fear for all the bits. Everybody hanging out and chat or lurking. We got any more follows or anybody here? Thank you very much. Alright. I will see you guys later today. Take care.